Welcome back to our final segment of Chamber Exchange, a TV show. Again, want to thank our sponsors that make it happen. Uh, Bank Hometown, as well as the Worcester Railers Hockey Club, two great locally based uh, companies and organizations. And the Railers season has begun, so get down to the DCU Center and watch the Worcester Railers Hockey Club. Uh, thrilled to have with us in this segment, Rodrigo Vargas, who is the founder of America Vinegar Works. And I've, you know, during my time at the Chamber, eight and a half years, and my time in government, I've had a lot of chances to visit businesses and new businesses. At Rodrigo, we had a chance at the Chamber to be part of your ribbon cutting. It was one of the coolest, most unique events I've ever been a part of. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm so glad and I, I'm thrilled to be here, to be part of the Chamber and to be with you here today. And, and so for those, you know, I want to introduce the company. It's, it's yeah. a, a American Vinegar Works. And maybe you could tell our viewers what the company has to sell, offer, and then we can get into like vinegar. <laughs> everything, you know I'm always ready to talk about everything vinegar. Yeah. So uh, we make great American vinegars and they're for cooking and they're for cocktails really. And our client base is really the high-end home cook, the experimenting home cook, and the professional chefs. Those are really the folks that are seeking us out and, and really seeking us out nationally at this point. And so, uh, you know, we, we were at the ribbon cutting, we had a chance, you know, at your facility uh, to kind of watch how it's made and, and how the care that you take in terms of the ingredients. And, and maybe you could just walk through that process yeah. and then how you're getting the word out about, about how people can utilize this, this great product. For sure, for sure. So uh, a quick vinegar 101. So to make vinegar, you need alcohol. So think like a beer, a cider, or wine, depending on the vinegar that you're going to make. You need a little bit of time. You need some bacteria, you need some heat, and you need some oxygen. So those are the basics. And over time, the bacteria are going to eat away the alcohol and turn it into acetic acid, which is, uh, which is vinegar. Our twist on that are two important differences. One, we only use Kraft American alcohols to make our vinegar. So New England beers and ciders, California wines. So we're really trying to make vinegars that have a sense of place, which sounds kind of funky for vinegar, but you could taste it. Right. When you taste our IPA beer vinegar, our porter beer vinegar, you can actually taste there was an IPA and a porter that gave birth and, to and this I can, beer vinegar. And, and you did, and I'll just full disclosure, yeah. you did a little tasting at the end, yes. both non-alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And you can really taste the the the, kind of the origins of it. Yeah, 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 which which is super cool. The the second piece is we use this what we call retro tech at this point. So there were these special machines that were super high tech in the early 1800s, which by the way is when the Whitall mills were last really mm -hmm. functioning. Uh, and were built, um, and we have those machines rebuilt for us now because nobody really makes vinegar that way anymore. So the ingredients that we use and the way that we make vinegar uh, leads to vinegars that are really pretty differentiated from what you're going to get in the marketplace. And, and you mentioned uh, Woodall Mills. I mean, the location is also really kind of a, a neat place. Uh, you know, for those in central Massachusetts, uh, prior to, you know, uh, Rotman's Furniture, yeah. There was, which abuts 290, the Woodall Mills carpet manufacturers, uh, and a cool real manufacturing district where they've seen a whole reuse of those buildings to small business incubators, a number of small businesses, Acoustic Java Coffee Shop. Yeah. Um, and, and you have your own kind of stand, stand, standalone building next to that. Yeah, uh, we, we, we have a, this super cool, so I, I love history. I was randomly a geography major, so I love everything about our regions, the history of it, the industrial aspects of our region as well. So the mill was a natural fit for me, but also for our brand. And as you mentioned, our building is this small little building in the middle of this like big historic mill complex. The reason it's so small is it's the blacksmith shop for the mill complex. So they didn't want everything to go, all those beautiful carpets to go up on fire, so they gave them this little building which is perfect for us it's on the national register of historic places and we've taken great care to put in our vinegar works but really preserve a lot of the historic elements of uh, of the building a as well which is a differentiator but also is so true to our brand it is important for us to as i mentioned before have a sense of place for our vinegars and to be part of the industrial history of worcester and of new england is really key for a brand that's making vinegars that are part of really the industrial history of vinegar at this point so you know manufacturing here locally yep. uh, uh, food manufacturing which is a consistent part of, uh, of, of worcester's manufacturing history uh, you are uh, employing uh, people and using products from you know uh, across the united states as well but so how do people get you know you got to be successful you got to right. have how do people buy your product learn more uh, yeah 
Uh, absolutely. So uh, AmericanVinegarWorks.com is where you want to go. And uh, you mentioned, Tim, that we did make some cocktails. So you can use the vinegars to make cocktails or for food. And if you go to AmericanVinegarWorks.com, I've actually published our June Mai Tai, which is a, our take on a classic Mai Tai recipe up there. So you can learn more about our vinegars there. You can purchase them online. And locally, if you'd like, we're actually carried in the Worcester Public Market. Uh, you'll find us in a lot of specialty cheese shops and gourmet shops throughout the country and throughout New England you can find us in all of the Whole Foods locations as well as several of the Roche Brothers and Brothers Marketplace locations. And, and you know as, as kind of the not just restaurants and, and, and venues but also the whole you know you mentioned food culture is exploding and people wanting to do things at home and, and, and use locally sourced and yeah. made ingre uh, uh, ingredients. Your uh, vinegar is central to all of that. A absolutely, it's it's a gr it really is a great ingredient. It's practically a zero calorie type of ingredient. It's naturally fermented. All of our vinegars have the bacteria in them as well, which is part of the natural vinegar making process. So we're really trying to make our vinegars accessible to more people. We're not one of those companies. I think the bottles are beautiful. If you go to our website, I think the photography is beautiful. But we're not one of those companies that's putting three inches of glass on the bottom of the bottle right. and charging you $40 for right. that bottle. All of our vinegars are 10 to $12, depending on where you're getting them. They're really meant to be accessible and not intimidating. So anybody can learn to experiment with them at home. You really can't make a mistake with them. And one of the vinegars you had was a fall sangria. Yes. Which was, but the other one, which was really interesting, and, I, and we've got a few minutes left. Yeah. But, you know, you gave us the history of, you know, people talk about, uh, you know, sports drinks and how they replenish right. and how those have proliferated and become very successful. But historically, there was vinegar was at the root of kind of the Gatorade yeah. before Gatorade. Maybe That's you right. Could share yeah. that story. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a switchel is a very traditional New England drink, very much associated with Vermont. Sometimes a little bit over the border in the New York kind of uh, adjoining areas, and it's sometimes called a switchel, or sometimes it's called a haymaker's punch. The reason for haymaker's punch is people used to drink this when they were out gathering hay and it was hot and they were sweating and you know there wasn't a Gatorade so there was a switchel which is a little bit of water fresh ginger maple syrup and apple cider vinegar and that combination when it comes together is incredibly refreshing and really re rehydrating which is why it was so key to that region that both had great apples as well as maple syrup to to sweeten it and we have that recipe on our on our website as well you can keep it in the fridge if you're feeling like you want a little bit of a variance on that you can toss in a little bit of bourbon it's, it's pretty great it's not authentic but it is pretty great well, we, we had the one without the bourbon yeah we that did. was really we did. good the, the sangria <laughs> Uh, fall sangria, that was that was good too. But yeah. outstanding stuff, and really an exciting company, an exciting time. Uh, and again, one last time before we break, people want a website: www.americanvinegarworks.com. You'll find all of our vinegars there, as well as a list of fine retailers that carry us throughout New England and the U.S. Great, Rodrigo Vargas, the founder of American Vinegar Works. Thanks for being with us on the show. Thanks for the tour, and, and uh, it, was, it was really fun, fun, fun uh, product and fun experience. Thank you so much, Tim. I really appreciate Good. it. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you had some fun uh, and learned some stuff today about some great companies and, and things that are happening here in Central Mass. I want to thank our sponsors. I hope make Chamber Exchange a TV show happen. Uh, Bank Hometown and the Worcester Railers Hockey Club.